What's up guys? Welcome back to I Like Collectibles. I'm Greg Ha, and today we're going to take a look at the proper way to pack a book when you ship it. Now there's a few required items that I'm going to show you here. One, masking tape. A good roll of scotch tape. Proper labeling for your package so they know that it is fragile. The book that you're shipping, and a backer board. Finally, and the most important piece, the proper way to ship is with one of these. This is a Gemini mailer. It looks big, I know, but when you fold it down, it gets down pretty small. I'm sure anyone that's ordered a comic off of eBay has gotten one of these. But I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, Gemini mailers. It's the only way I ship all my books. So the proper way to fold it, once you once you've had a, you've shipped quite a few of these, you'll get it down easier. So it folds inward, it folds inward like that, and there's different uh, seams where you can make it larger if you have a bigger stack of books. For one book, you want to fold it at the first seam and the second seam. There, so it looks like that. And do the same here for the for the next one. Fold out the first seam and the second seam. So it looks just like that. And the outer flap folds right over. Make sure it makes a perfect square like that. And here, the same. So now that's exactly how you mail it. So let's let's prepare the book. Your masking tape, I like to rip off, to start, I start with four pieces of tape. Your second backer board, put to the front of the book that you're shipping, and I like to use that masking tape. Now don't put the tape too tight, I like to wrap it so it doesn't mess with the the sleeve itself, um, so the bag itself isn't bent inward. So I like to leave a little bit of play on that and do that with the top, the bottom, and again, top, bottom, wraps around just like that. You can see there. And last but not least, top, bottom, so now you can see that you have a book that's taped top, bottom, and it's pretty well protected there. Uh, so then put it into the Gemini mailer and get four more pieces of your tape, the masking tape. And take the mailer, line it up, up top, so you can see that when it closes, it does not bend on the book itself. If you have it too high, obviously it will bend. Make sure you don't do that. And then again, you're gonna use the tape, go around the flap. Now I use masking tape on this because it's a lot easier to remove the book. If you use the Scotch shipping tape, which is what I use for the outside of the box, it's gonna rip the, the uh, sleeve itself, it'll, it'll rip the bag that the book is uh, secured into. Another thing you can do, and this is nice for people that are receiving it, make a little uh, fold on the tape itself and then put it on like this so it's secured, but there's a little flap for them to pull. That makes it a little easier for them to get out. So, last piece, make your little flap, go, and because the way that the, the Gemini mailer is, there's no backing right here, so what I typically will do with the last piece 
you can see with the last piece, I secure it to the actual bottom portion of the flap. Bam, closes, closes. And then here is where I do use my scotch tape because it holds pretty well. And do your little flap, do a little fold on there like that. I don't think you can see it. Make it so it's easier to get off because one thing I hate is when I get a package in and I gotta spend 30 minutes. I, I love that people package well, but there's as a, as a shipper, there's a few things you can do to really speed it up for them. Because when you get your package, you're excited, you wanna open it up, you don't wanna wait 30 minutes before you can open it and see what you got. So, bam, it's closed. Close it, make sure it's secured tightly. Uh, and then, that's where the scotch tape comes into play. I will typically start it on one side like that and then wrap the book all the way around to the back and back to the front like that and cut and release. So it's good to have one of these because it does make it a lot easier to package it. I can wrap these books up so quick anymore. Um, you know, I may ship a few a day. Sometimes I go a while without shipping stuff, but some days I'll have you know, 10, 15 books to wrap up and I can do it like that. Gemini mailers are the way to go. I'm gonna put a link below. Uh, these are extremely important to ship with the Gemini mailer. Don't use two pieces of cardboard and a legal envelope and all this other stuff that I see people doing. These are cheap. This works out to, I buy these by a, at 100 at a time. I think it's like $90 to buy 100 of them, which sounds like a lot, but if you're selling that many books, it's important. It's only 90 cents per book to ship this way. Another thing I like to do to really secure it is get a couple more pieces and go on the ends, kind of pinch it a little bit and that excess flap, flip it over just like that. So it kind of tightens it up a little bit. It makes it feel a little bit more secure too. Um, and I do that on both sides. Bam, bam. Now, so you can see I got kind of tightened up there tighten up there. And lastly, I use a label printer that I've purchased. You can buy a label printer. I'll put a link in the video description below for the label printer that I use. These are pretty cheap. Um, the labels are cheap. I make them right here at home. I don't have to go out and buy them. Um, but I do recommend you put something on so people understand that, you know, this is, this is a fragile piece of mail. Um, so I do like to Typically, I'll put it on the same side um, that the shipping label is, so it's right below the shipping label so the, the mailman can see it. I'll put the shipping label right here with my label printer. Next, I wanted to go over kind of the way that I ship books. A lot of the time, the purchases are through PayPal. My, the label printer that I have, you can actually use to generate the labels and print them direct and then just apply it. Another good way is I know a lot of people do PayPal invoicing. From the PayPal invoice, the USPS does offer discounted labels. You can actually ship out a package that you receive money on through there. All they're gonna ask for is the size of the box uh, and the weight, which is you know about eight ounces, 10 ounces. The size, I believe, is like six by, I think, 12. So that's important to do. Very important way to save some money Going through PayPal's service, you're saving, I think, like $2. So to ship something like this, it's typically between, I'd say, 6 and $10, depending on where it's going with tracking and USPS. That's USPS priority mail as well. That's not, do not send these media mail. I, I see so many people sending comic books media mail. That's against the terms and regulations um, of, of USPS. This is not media. This is a comic book, which does not... Uh, apply as media. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take the time to like and subscribe below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Maybe leave some tips below about what you do when you package your comics for shipment. And thank you guys so much. See you next time.